Hi, welcome to a part for you video tutorials. This video tutorial is on how to replace your fan oven element in a cooker. First thing we need to do is remove the door. Just putting the clips up and lifting the door off and show you in more detail here. You can see more variation on hinges in our other videos. You'll see it just latches over and locks the door into place and when you lift up it lifts the whole hinge. There we go, no uh, wiggle and the door will come off. Removing the oven shelves now. oven shelf holders, one either side. Not every cooker has these, some of them are built into the chassis. Right, now we're going to remove the fan guard plate at the rear of the oven. This one is held on with four screws. There are variations in different ovens. Some the back panel just lifts out of place. Behind here lies the element. I'll show you a photograph in a minute of a typical element that is blown. But normally you'll have to test the element with a meter. Sorry about the lighting on this video, uh, it's a new cooker I'm working on just to show you, and uh, quite a bit of reflection. And there we go, the fan guard plate coming out now. Next we're going to remove the element, but first I'll just show you what an element looks like blown. There you go. This element's held in place with three screws. Again, there are variations. The screw I'm undoing there is the vibration. Uh, basically stops the element vibrating when the fan's running. And then you have the two main screws which hold the element in place. power should always be off the cooker and the cooker disconnected from the electricity when working on it. Now the element slides out. Always best to try and remove it at a 45 degree angle because sometimes these clips uh, are not always straight at the back there at an angle. Okay, once removed replace it with the new element. Again, really following this procedure in reverse. Connecting the terminals, make sure they're uh, on firmly. And now put the screws back in. Remember, you can find elements at our website. If you go to the search facility and just put your model number of your cooker in, followed by the word element, that will refine the search for you. Normally, you just put your model number and you'll get all the parts listed for your cooker. You'll find a link around this uh, video, which will take you directly to the cooker spares. Okay, now we're going to put the fan guard plate back into situation. Again, you'll find it much easier to work on the cooker if you have removed the door. 
this can be done in situation. Um, you'll normally find it a lot easier with the door off, but uh, normally you can get around it. Some cookers, by the way, you might have to take the cooker out of situation because there is nuts and bolts that hold the element in place, whereby you have to get to the rear of the machine to undo these. done. We hope you found this video useful and helpful. Please remember to shop at Apart For You as that's what keeps us going and able to make these videos for you. Thank you very much for watching.